An unfinished masterpiece. No idea where this belongs. Advanced crosswords, riddles, and puzzles. The whole book was solved already. I wonder who it belonged to. The take-home version of a battle of wits. Huh. I didn't see a spot for board games. The sparkly purple book had a winged pegasus on its cover. Perhaps one of the princesses would know where it went. Do you have any ideas on how to grab that vase? I'm sure a caring gentleman like yourself has a plan. I'll finish it someday. Until then, it goes over there. Appreciate it. The hidden magical world. Each page brings me more joy than the last. Can you put that over there? Bungos. Perhaps they go with the kitchenware. My bongos! Ovi says these are nothing but treble. Can you put them back over there? Thank you. I read that at least three times a year. Could you put it back over there? Appreciate it. My dad and I used to play this game for hours. It goes on that shelf. You're not fooling me. That's not what appreciate it. Some sort of nunchuck made of bone. At least it was a self-sustainable business model. Eh, what can I say? As an only child, I was in constant need to keep myself entertained. Appreciate it. That didn't fit there. Huh? <laughs> wow! Impressive! Excellent work, Cram. <laughs> You better hide! <clears throat> oh, I can't stand that soggy woman. 
Won't even speak to her. V, that's not very nice. Might not be nice, but it's true. You've never been one to give the time of day to people you don't like. Seriously, she looks like a melted marshmallow. Everything chip chop up here? Ah, <laughs> oh, how are my delicate little flowers? Hmm? We're splendid, Hagatha. Thank you. Eh, <laughs> uh, looks like you lovelies missed a spot. How's the face, Aquilos? What? What was that? Uh, uh, nothing. That's right, dearie. A good princess should keep her thoughts on the inside. <laughs> Just like we practiced. <laughs> Out of place? Um, aftershock? Oh, sweetie. We'll need to continue working on your awkward bungling. I've been working on my sleep giggles, too. Perfect. Perfect. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. That smell. From over there. Yes, yes. What do we have here? Agatha, would you like no. to... interrupt? It's rude. Whatever you say. Slimy cucumber. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, joy! <laughs> Looks like another princess is showing up party. But the per princess? Long flowing gown, pale skin with rose colored cheeks, an elaborate headdress, and wait. Oh, the scent of lavender. I recognize a princess when I see one. Welcome to my tower. I'd invite you to dinner, but you don't really have a choice. <laughs> oh, Agatha. Good one. <laughs> Delighted to make your acquaintance. Oh, what a sweet little princess. Need to work on your grace, so... Now come. It's time to eat. Hum's face. V! Hush! What was that? What's everyone feel like for dinner? I'll take savory. Sweet, please. After dinner, Hagatha excused herself and told us to get our beauty rest like all good princesses should. The sun was setting, but none of us were sleepy. V suggested we play a game to pass the time. Niece picked out Moral Quarrel, a casual social game. V preferred something more competitive, but begrudgingly went along with it. All right, the first step is we answer all the cards in front of us. We must answer honestly or the game won't work. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, 
tell Charles to leave town and never return. Or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon. Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? I'd want to be a dragon with a pet dragon. Is that weird? Would you rather A, have a tail that never stops loudly tapping against the ground, or B, have noodles for hands? Well, that wouldn't allow you to pick up anything. Dragons have tails, so tail. Would you rather A, constantly reek of syrup and not smell it, or B, constantly smell reeking syrup? I actually like the smell of syrup. First, we mix up our hands. At the start of our turn, we choose which player we want to try to pair with. We'll then ask the question from the card at the top of our decks. If both Asker and Aski answer the same way, they both place the card on one of the three spaces between them. Once there are three cards between the two players, they both win the game. If there's not a match between players, the card must be discarded. If a player runs out of cards before matching three, they lose. Graham, are you getting all this? Oh, Mirror, which one is it? Is it B? Is it Nice? Do they like me? Do I like them? What does my breath smell like? Oh, lavender and ooh, eggs. We're inside. Should I take my hat off? What if they don't like capes? That's silly. Everyone loves capes. What if they're allergic to triumph? Please tell me this is my inside voice. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Just in my relaxed box. Ready to begin? Graham, you start. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? 100% B. I agree. Think of all the lives you could lead. Explorer, artist, pirate, vampire. Or a ninja, or a zombie. Graham. A rich merchant inadvertently drops one shiny gold coin on the ground. You see a poor, hungry orphan pick it up. Do you A, convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or B, turn your head the other way and let the orphan keep the coin? B, the orphan needs that money more than the merchant does. Hmm, I chose A. I figured their honesty would be rewarded with more than just one shiny gold coin. Graham? You have been hunting for your starving family all day and only managed to catch a small goose. On your way back home, a hungry beggar offers you magic beans in return for the goose. The beggar tells you that the beanstalk sprouted from his beans will lead you to a chest that produces unlimited food. He would go after it himself, but his legs are too tired and old. Do you... A. Kindly reject the offer and bring your starving family their dinner. Or B. Let the beggar eat the goose and plant the beans in your yard. B. I mean, magic beans. Yep. Magic beans. Magic beans. You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return, or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? I pick A. I agree. Charles should be banished for the crimes he committed, but I couldn't imprison a friend. Nice and I won the game. She looked like she was holding in a victory dance. We looked upset. Not because of me, but because she hated to lose. When the sun went down, the air turned frigid. We decided it was too cold to play another game and headed to bed. The walls of the tower were pretty thin, and embarrassing as it is to admit, that night I overheard the princesses talking about me. So what do you think of King Graham the Brave? 
I'm not sure about him yet. I'm not sure yet either. This seemed like the perfect time to explore the tower. I was interested in getting to know my new home better. 